Hello friends, I'm Megan. And I am Jessie. Hey Megan, why is this delicious bowl of fruit sitting here? Ah, I brought it so we could play a game. Would you like to play a game? Oh, say yes, say yes. <gasps> Woohoo! I love games. How do we play, Megan? Okay, I'll give clues about a fruit. Okay? And our friends will guess what it is. Here's the first one. I'm yellow and monkeys like to eat me. What fruit am I? Do you have a guess? Yes, it's a banana. Great job. Okay, my turn to give a clue. <clears throat> hmm, oh, I got one. I'm a red, round, crunchy, and tasty yummy in pie. What am I? Do you know? <gasps> You're right. It's an apple! Wow, you all are so smart. Bananas and apples are delicious fruits that God created. What's your favorite fruit? Oh yeah, I like that fruit too. Hearing about all this yummy fruit is making me hungry. Today's Bible story talks about fruit, but this fruit was not for eating. God told Adam and Eve to not eat fruit from a tree in the garden, but they chose to disobey God and eat the fruit anyway. Oh no. In today's Bible story, we will hear the word sin. On the count of three, say sin. One, two, three, sin. Sin is disobeying God's commands. Listen closely to hear what happened to Adam and Eve when they chose to sin. When God made the first man, Adam, he placed him in a beautiful garden to work and take care of it. God said, eat from any tree in the garden, but do not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. If you do, you will die. Now, the snake was the sneakiest of all the wild animals God had made. One day, the snake said to Eve, did God really say not to eat from any tree in the garden? Eve said, no, we can eat the fruit from the trees in the garden. God said not to eat from the tree in the middle of the garden. He said, do not eat it or touch it or you will die. The snake said, no, you will not die. If you eat it, you will be wise like God. Eve looked at the fruit. It did look yummy and she wanted to be like God, so Eve ate the fruit. She gave some to Adam and he ate it too. When they ate the fruit, they suddenly realized they were naked. They used fig leaves to make clothes. That evening, Adam and Eve heard God walking in the garden. They tried to hide. God called to Adam, where are you? Adam said, I was afraid, so I hid. Did you eat from the tree that I told you not to eat from? God asked. Adam said, Eve gave me some fruit and I ate it. Eve said, the snake tricked me. Adam and Eve had sinned or disobeyed God. Because of their sin, bad things would happen. Life would be hard, but God promised that someone would come from Eve's family to get rid of the evil snake. God was kind to Adam and Eve. He gave them clothes from animal skins. Then he sent them out of the garden. Adam and Eve did not follow God's good plan. They sinned by disobeying God's command. Sin separates people from God, but God had a plan all along. Jesus came to earth as a man to live a sinless life, die on the cross, and rose again to rescue people from sin.